in Kotlin, there are two types of equality, structural and referential. Let's assume that we have two string variables by the name of name one and name two, both containing different strings. We could compare them and see if they're the same by using the structural equivalent operator, which is the equals equal sign to say, hey, is name one equal to name two? And if we were to run this, it would output to the terminal window saying that it's false, that name one does not equal name two. Now this is very similar to other languages such as Java's equals method, which you can also use. And you'll see this here. And if we run this, we'll also get false here as well. Notice this squiggly line here. If you put your cursor there and you hit alt enter, you'll get a pop-up. Otherwise you can just click on the little light bulb and say replace with equals equals. This is the more idiomatic way to do it in Kotlin. So this says, hey, is name one equal to name two? Now there's also, uh, if we were to change this, so let's say that this was change name two to Dawn, this would then evaluate the true because the structure of the contents are the same. So they are the same types, uh, same types and the same contents. So structural equality is, is true. And so if we return this back to Tushar and we say, hey, I wanna see if these are different, we can use what's known as structural inequality. And that's going to be with the exclamation and equal sign. Now, if we run this, we're going to see that we have a true, that Don does not equal Tushar. Now, if I change the second one to Don again, what do we think is gonna happen here? Don does not equal Don. Well, that's gonna be false because these two are exactly the same. So. That is the way that you can use structural equalities inside of Kotlin. You're going to get the first one, which is equals equals is, is the regular equal equality and exclamation equals is inequality.